I am Dr. Sharjeel and today I will show you the third video of blepharospasm series in which I will show you how to inject Botox after reconstitution. In the first video we have described blepharospasm and its types. In the second video how to prepare injection Botox and now how to inject it. So the first step is to mark the injection sites where we would like to inject the Botox. Site selection is very crucial for the efficacy of this procedure and some muscles of some patients they are more affected as compared to the other muscles so you can modify it from patient to patient according to the involvement of the affected area but here I am marking the most common sites that are usually marked for the blepharospasm and the most common injection sites so as you can see the bro is divided into three parts one centimeter superior to the bro line mark three points lateral medial and in between the two points don't go towards the extreme lateral point of the bro because there lies lacrimal gland and you can precipitate dry eye so and do don't go too much superiorly because then you can paralyze the frontalis muscle which is actually assisting levator in opening the eyes and it works against the orbicularis muscle so then mark the pretarsal upper eyelid muscles at three points the central point is just in relation to the center of the pupil the medial is just above the superior punctum and lateral is in relation to the lateral canthus 2 to 3 millimeter from the eyelid margin now same mark the pretarsal lower eyelid orbicularis two points as compared to the three points in the superior two points in line with the one in line with the center of the pupil and other near the lateral canthus avoid the medial point near the inferior punctum otherwise you may cause epiphora the functional nasolacrimal duct blockage <clears throat> you can also mark the center of the forehead the procerus muscle because it is also hyperactive in blepharospasm so these are the most common points two points in the inferior eyelid three points superior in the superior eyelid and three points above the eyebrow and one in the center so you have got 3, 3, 6, 7, 8, 8 points on both sides of the eyes and one in the center of the pupil. If the, you can also take an extra point at the lateral canthus if there are marked crow feet or that area is also actively involved. And also make sure that you are superficial in order to avoid the damage to the levator and cause process so anesthetize the marked areas with lignocaine cream 15 minutes before injection you can also apply topical anesthetic drops five minutes before injection you uh, and you can proceed without anesthesia as well so clean the marked side with spirit and allow it to dry because moist alcohol may inactivate the Botox. Make sure you inject subcutaneous and not enter deep to avoid doses and diplopia because orbicularis is just beneath the skin. 
ideally you should make sure that injected solutions make localized swellings as you can see I am injecting and the solution is just beneath the skin now some doctors try to press the injection side uh, hard and try to spread the injected solution with alcohol soaked cotton swabs well it's better don't mop it but if blood comes out then very gently mop it because botulinum molecule is very fragile and with even gentle pressure it can break and efficacy can be lost so that's a very important point that don't press it hard you can also see i am injecting at the marked points so you can observe how you have to inject it and how you have to elevate the injection site with solution now how many units per injection site well that depends upon the severity of blepharospasm and how many previous injections has been given uh, to the patient because uh, with each extra injection uh, you have to give more units per site so for procerus uh, 5 units uh, for uh, medial bro 5 units uh, and in these uh, sides the skin is thick so injections needed are also deeper whereas in pre tarsal area 2 to 3 units um, and just beneath the skin botox takes 1 to 2 weeks to take effect maximum effect after 2 weeks to 2 months uh, and then gradually wane off post up paracetamol for pain and artificial tears for dry eyes are given complications are localized bruising diplopia ptosis dry eye bro ptosis bro asymmetry so these are the now we are injecting in the other eye you can see that how the injection is injected and I am making sure that the injection is not deep enough because and you should also make sure that it is not in the vessel so that's the process thank you very much